back to another video of Game and Fishing Adventures. Today we are out on Bud Lake and today we are catching yellow bass. If you like these videos, uh, leave a like on today's video and subscribe so you can continue watching these videos. This one. Oh, Dad, I just caught a jumbo. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. And it's another nice. Bro, Dad, I just caught a giant. Bro, guys, look at that. That's just giant. That's bigger than my other big one. Oh, you got a feisty one, Dad. Yeah, this is old and full, though. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. Bro, I just caught a big one, too. I just caught a, like, a mat giant. These are super big. And there's a whole school of big ones down there. My first one was small, but now look it. I just caught three of them. They're huge. to come back out here for more video. Guys, leave a like if we should come out, out here yep. fishing for big yellow bass from, on more videos. Um, today, guys, what I'm using is a little spoon and we're putting spikes on them. Little white spikes, not the red ones. Oh, shoot. Tiny fella, guys. Oh, really? Oh, really? Now you are a little bigger than the last one, but you're still going to That's a better one. We're gonna 
Looks heavy. It's heavy. It's not big. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. That's gonna be it because, you, as you can see, it's getting pretty dark, and we've been out here for like an hour. We've caught, a lot, kept a lot of fish, caught a lot of fish, and have fit and had fun. Okay, guys, uh, we've been getting a lot of questions about the size of yellow bass that we've been getting, so. Uh, most of the yellow bass we're catching fall under these three size categories, so you can see the big difference uh, just in uh, depth and and width right now. But I'll I'll measure them real quick on my on my board, so you can see. We'll start with the small ones. So the small ones are just over six and three quarters, almost seven inches. Uh, this is probably about half of what you're gonna end up catching, um, if not more. Sometimes it's more. This one's at seven and a quarter. So this next size category, uh, getting to be really nice, nice eating size, uh, are these ones over here. So there's two of them about the same, same length, uh, basically same year class. And they are, that one's just shy of nine inches. And this one is actually about almost nine and a half. So, you know, you get to this size, they're real deep bodied, real thick fillets. Uh, man, they, they fight like crazy too. So this size, these big ones, these real tanks are about nine and three quarters, almost 10 inches. And right at 10 inches so yeah there's a little little background on on the fish you catch you know like I said in some places you know 75% of them are these six to or six and three quarter to seven and a quarter inch fish and that's uh, the ones where they got the biggest year class so we're we're weeding them out too they make make a pretty good little bite-sized nugget and uh, even though they look tiny compared to the rest of them, they're still still fun to catch and really good eating. You can see here, nice white flesh. This is a male. Breeding male.
Now I gotta admit, I give these fish away to a lot of people. Not a lot of meat behind the ribs. So I just cut it all out so there's no bones in that filet. Whoever's getting it, not gonna choke on a bone, not gonna accidentally eat one. So that's just why I do it that way. And then there's so many of them that I'm not too concerned about that little bit of meat. female see the little egg sack there <clears throat> I'll show you on some of those smaller ones and they're already reproductively uh, mature so even the small ones will be spawning in the springtime here's what I'm talking about guys the uh, on the right here is a seven inch female you can see she's got eggs growing in her already and on the Left is a seven inch male. You can see he has his uh, sperm sacs already. So these are the majority of the fish we're catching right now and they will be ready to spawn when comes spring. So we're not quite sure just how successful they are at that size, but <clears throat> it could definitely turn out to be even bigger year classes of smaller fish. Um, so we're just trying to keep, keep as many as we can clean and and uh, hopefully predators and other other fish will help keep the population down as well but human harvest can be a, a pretty big role in keeping these fish in check and after all that filleting we got a nice bowl of fresh fillets let them soak in the fridge overnight in the water and uh, they plump up a little bit and then they're even better to eat but you can't beat fresh fish either and the next morning, after soaking in water overnight, they look like this. Nice thick fillets, ready for cooking.